and then just turn to the top, all the way to the top. It's all, you know, it's the golf swing. It just added a turn beyond where he just had it. So we're building really the heartbeat of the golf swing right here and, and owning that impact, owning that connection, owning the body's ability to rotate to square up the club face. It's good stuff. We hit a couple spots out here, which is what everybody should do to start their session. Um, wedge distance control, as these guys know, it's really important. All right, so 30, 40 yards we start out with. Here's the reason why we like 30 and 40 yard shots to start out with. Not just for the fact that we're trying to get our distance control down, but you know what's great about a 30 yard shot? It's really close to where the set position is. There's 30 exactly, look at that. Ooh, wasn't that exactly where I said 30 was? So the whole point being, that set position being where our wrists set and they're finished, to where we just turn it to the top, we're practically there in our 30 yard shot. Go back to 30 yard shot. And then just turn to the top. All the way to the top. It's all, you know, it's the golf swing. It just added a turn beyond where he just had it. So we're building really the heartbeat of the golf swing right here. And, and owning that impact, owning that connection, owning the body's ability to rotate to square up the club face. Quality of contact comes from his good setup connected backswing, constant rotation. Follow me. Good setup. Nose and sternum, front edge of golf ball. Weight on that left side. The ability to rotate around that metal pole that is our left leg. Yeah. I shrink up my stance and my setup to cater to the distance that I want to hit the golf shot. If my 70 yard shot's here, my 30 is gonna be less. But right here, my arms, my body, they're connected to one another. And that connection leads to the ability to constantly rotate, which leads to the ability to have that club continuously striking down in front of the ball. Um, watch this, guys. The bad side, the good side. I stall my body. Oh, momentum of the club goes back there. I keep the connection and keep rotation happening, look at where it's bottoming out. Always on the good side. The low point will be in front of it, okay? So that's incredibly important to understand, you guys, when you're building your wedge technique. My thing is 30-yard players don't typically set up like they're hitting a 30-yard shot. They typically arm swing it, and then they have to stop all of this because they know it's such a short shot and let this catch up. Man, the chances that that club's going to arrive exactly where it needs to not great. Yeah. And if it does, it kind of scoops it. Or sometimes the hands get overactive and then it jumps. It doesn't have that same that comes off when you have that same rhythm and constant rotation, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see you really get that down, buddy. His nose and his sternum are right on the top front edge of the golf ball. So when he swings, the club, if he keeps rotating, will just bottom out right in front of the ball. See that? Good contact there. There's your 30, there's your 30. So the way that my guys do a really good job, and if you've watched our YouTube videos before, what, the way they go about getting distance control is they understand that you have a constant rhythm that you keep up. Mm -hmm. And then number two, you know exactly how far you're taking your hands back, right? Meaning my hands going back to my right pocket is my 30 yard shot, my belt is my 40, my belly button is my 50 and it just keeps going up. Your right pocket with your hands is going about 20 to 25 yards. Yeah. Let's go to your belt. That's your 30. Yeah. Exactly. So hey, when you find your 30, lock it in now. Lock it in and see if we can get that for five straight golf balls. And then what we'll do is we'll have them go to 40, 50, 60, and then we randomize it and have them kind of bounce back and forth. That's the way you get better here. Just based upon those two, I already know you're 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I mean, we just have to keep climbing up the body every three inches, mm -hmm. and we're gonna hit a different spot that's gonna produce another 10 yards if you keep the same rhythm. All right. One, two. Attaboy. One, two. Attaboy. 30 yards, perfect, perfect. I feel like I'm stopping at my pocket, but it's actually the belt. Yep. So that's what I'm imagining. I'm just trying to follow through. So when you're in here, 
there's nothing wrong with taking those swings, my practice swings, after I found my spot, really have a lot of counting in them. One, two. One, two. So not only am I attaching myself to what I need to do as far as the length I'm going back, and I'm making sure I turn my shoulder to move it back, not just place my hands there independently of my body. Mm -hmm. One, two. That helps me feel the golf club throughout my swing, and it allows for that consistent contact that we're looking for. So counting, counting also in competition, Christian, can be something that frees the golfer up and gets rid of any of the nerves. You're sticking to a count. Therefore, if you get the count right and take it back on one and arrive on two, my personal visual, guys, has always been, and a lot of my good players like this a lot, my nose line is right here. It's the finish line. I feel like it's going back on one and passing my nose on two. Okay? And that's, that's, a, that's for me, the ability to just constantly rotate. My hands are moving at the same pace as my body's rotation. I feel like my hands and my hips really on this shot are one. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's see it. 30, perfect. Can see it right away when it takes off. Yeah. Look at that. Like the last couple were just barely nicking the turf. The one that got steep earlier, the couple that did, that came from Christian getting like this, a little handsy, a little extra, and then it, you know, it doesn't, it increases the angles and doesn't have that constant rotation. You know, watch, watch mine, watch how shallow they are, and you guys can see this. I'm still hitting down on this, but the, see how shallow that comes in? Yeah. And the reason why it does is because I'm not adding angles. I have constant rotation and the club with that constant rotation just passes right through the turf. Yeah. Spending time on 30s, 40s, 50s. You know, today we did the 30 because that was a set position to something that I can look at his takeaway and make sure his takeaway is good. I can really guarantee he's keeping connection in his backswing because man, that thing hikes up back there without the body and you only have that short amount of time to recover from the flaw. Mm. It, it's not gonna happen. You know, this guy's good with his hands, but he's not, he's not a magician, right? <laughs> All right, buddy, let's get it.